Welcome back. This video, I will show you how to construct an NFA or DFA for some language over some strings. Okay, so here uh, there is a problem construction construction of NFA and DFA, and you are going to construct it for the language. Whenever it is a language, it should be over some alphabet. Like the input symbol should be specified separately, and the inputs over here are A and B alone. That it contains all the strings that starts with A B. Whenever a string starts with A B, our NFA or DFA should accepts the input, and uh, the language consists of like the minimal input is like at least we should have A B as an input. So A B starting with A B, we can it is followed by either A or B or A A or A B or anything. Okay, any combinations of A and B of any length. So we have to construct a NFA and DFA for such a type of inputs. Which accepts these kind of inputs. Okay, so the first step is to proceed with. In case of an NFA, we have to proceed that with a minimal input. The minimal input for the system is A B. In order to process these two input, uh, two uh, elements A and B, we at least need three states. When the input is just A B, and the input is just A B, the input uh, the NFA or DFA, the finite automata should go to go to a final state. And in case of NFA, a non-deterministic finite automata, it is very simple. The input should start with A B, and followed by either A or B, we remains in this state. Now this will be the starting state. I can give the name of the state as zero, one, two. From the starting state, if the input is A, we go to state one. If the input is B, we go to state two. And then either A or B, B remains in the state two itself. So two is the final state. So for all possible input, if the input starts with A B, we reach final state. And for all the remaining elements over there, we remains in the state two itself. So that is the final state. So this is a non-deterministic finite automata that accepts this kind of inputs. All inputs in the language will be accepted by this non-deterministic finite automata. Now, when we fill all the gaps over here, that will become a deterministic finite automata. A non-deterministic finite automata is one which we may uh, describe it as like on any one input from a state, we may have a transition. Or we may not have a transition at all. We may have some n number of transitions too. For example, in the stage zero, when the input is A, we have a transition, and the input is B, we don't have any transition at all. So this is a non-deterministic finite automata. For the same case, if you want to construct a deterministic finite automata DFA, again the processing we start with this minimal input. When the input is just A B, we have to go to the final state. So I have three states for it, and the input is just A and B alone. We reach final state, and this will be our starting state. Okay, now we have to fill the remaining spaces, and now we have to think a little while uh, constructing a DFA. Okay, for example, I give the names as one, two, zero, one, two, three. In the state zero, when the input is A, we are going to the state one, but we don't have any transition for. Input as B. What happens when B occurs in the state zero? Similarly, in state one, when the input is B, we have a transition to the state two, but we don't have any transition for A. So we have to check for what happens when an input is A in the state one. And similarly, over here in the state two, we don't have any outgoing edges. We don't have any transition for A or B input. So we have to check for what happened when the input is A or what happened when the input is B. Now we'll start from first. Here the condition is we are going to accept all accept all the language or uh, like all the input string that has A B in the starting of it. In the state zero, if a B occurs, it means that it doesn't fit into this condition, right? See here, it should exactly start with A. So if the input starts with B, then it has to be rejected. Actually, in case of a finite automata, we don't have any rejection state. 
so in order to describe that we can construct a dummy state i can give it as d okay d is a non final dummy state where i have a transition on a and b to itself and whenever we actually guess that the input should be rejected we can trace that for to this state for example when the input starts with b it has to be rejected so i can have a transition over here so what happen if the input starts with b in the state 0 it the transition will move to the state d a d is a non final state and we will remain in this d state for all possible input so at the end of transition we remain in a non final state so the input will be rejected okay and similar case consider here as uh, state 1 is a place where we have already processed a ba and we are waiting for a b okay the input exactly should start with a b and we have processed 1a now what will happen if one more a occurs over here now this is a condition where the input should exactly start with ab but here it starts with ab some a over here should be rejected again okay it should be uh, it, uh, the input should exactly start with ab in that case what happen we again trace this to this dummy state and the input is a and now in the final state final state is a place where we have already processed ab the input is started with ab and it is followed by some elements might be a a or b okay but this is allowed right when the input starts with ab whatever might be the remaining one either a or b we have to accept it so we can have a self loop condition as in case of this enough a for all possible input a and b when the input is ab we stay in the state 2 itself so state 2 is a final state way when the input starts with ab we reach the state and for the remaining elements we will stay in the state itself so at the end of input we stay in a final state so the input will be accepted